so I figured I'm going to try to film my most requested video ever and see if I can do it in under 10 minutes because I'm going to be in a hotel for the next few days um, finishing up my training. So I'm going to go through and see if I can run through all of my Lush products as quickly as possible. First, in my shower, I have a 8-ounce bottle of Snow Fairy. Um, then up here, I have a big shampoo. Right here is a Cynthia Sylvia Stout. The little bottle, I don't really like this shampoo. Um, would not recommend it. Down here, I have my rose buttercream, uh, Ring of Roses. One of my snow showers. A strawberry Santa. Right here is a little chunk. Um, of Bohemian and Honey I Wash the Kids soap. Right here is my Irresistible Bliss shampoo bar. Right here is one of my Ultimate Shine shampoo bars. In the kitchen I have a face mask and some more snow showers and strawberry Santas. Okay, so this is what I store my Lush in. Um, but that's not all. So there's one. And there's two. <clears throat> yeah. So I've got a lot of stuff. Um, so this is all of my Lush bath bombs and bubble bars. Uh, they're, I don't know how high, maybe like five inches high um, off the ground, pretty far, <laughs> pretty big. Um, so this is all bath bombs, bubble bars from Lush. There's some other companies that are in here. Um, like there's a couple more of my, uh, what is this, Moon's Harvest. But these are pretty much all the bubble bars. What I do is I take them and I break them in half. Um, for the most part, like here's Supernova. So I'll go ahead and crack them and then I just put them into a Ziploc bag. And most of them are labeled with what they are. Um, and then over here, I just made this one a few minutes ago because I ran out of room. Um, and down there is my Let's Get Physical gift set. Here's some of my Suds and Sass products that I haven't used yet. Um, this one I haven't showed. It's from Target. Um, it's in a haul I need to upload. It's a Bath Fizzer and Honey Please. It's a brand you can get at Target. I haven't tried it. Um, so far I'm not impressed though by the things I have tried. Here's my Simply Sweet. Here's all, a bunch of my honey buns that I got. All of my Dorothy Bubble Bars. There's four of them. Um, more suds and sass, some comforter, here's one of my big egg gifts, another suds and sass, um, my suds and sass rock, um, not rock salt, bath salts, another egg gift, um, this is another from Moon's Harvest, Tootsie Totsie, um, in here are just ones that I only have like one of, so it's a floating island bath melt. Um, but these are all my bubble bars and bath bombs. I don't know if you guys want me to run through all of them. Um, that would kind of take more than 10 minutes. And then this is where I keep some of my soap. So this is a smaller one. Um, all of this goes underneath my bed. So it's in a cold, um, dark place so that it's not going to alter anything. It's going to keep it fresher longer, actually. So in here is a bunch of my Lush soaps. One suggestion I realized is these are all the ones that I got from the Boxing Day sale. And if you leave them in here, the names rub off. So now all of these I can either barely read or I can't read them at all. So I'm going to have to go through and open them up and put them in Ziploc bags. And um, I might suck the air out of them with like a little what is, air remover. But a lot of them don't have names now. So it's going to be a fun little trick to figure out what they are. Here's the Canadian Maple Soap. Just some soap samples. Um, this is where I keep all of my soaps, though. Well, not all, but. And then I have a knife. Like, this is my one knife that I've designated to soap cutting. That's why it's really gross. Here's my big chunk of Alchemar. Haven't even gotten into it yet. Um, I've got a lot of stuff from when it was buy one, get two free. So, those are those soaps. Uh, these are the two bags I just emptied. Up here, I just showed you guys all this in a haul. Um, my Marilyn hair treatment. This is a yummy, yummy, yummy. I love Juicy Shampoo, American Cream, and my giant daddy-o that all of this was free except for yummy, yummy, yummy. Awesome. Okay, then over here, I love stackies. This, to me, is the best way to store things. Um, you can tell I have one here. I've got one up there. I've got one back here. <laughs> And then there's one in the corner. Right now my room is very unorganized because 
when you work 65 hours a week, you just kind of deal with it. So this is moisturizers. Um, this has all of my massage bars. So here's a Wiki and a Merry Christmas. Have a Nilly, one of my favorites. Um, Monge 2 and Each Peach. The Mountie one. And then this is another Wiki. And these are the samples I got from the Head, head Shoulder Knees and Toes set. This is a Fair Trade Foot Lotion. Um, very minty, very nice. A Dream Cream Lotion. I won this from Lush UK on like a Twitter uh, Facebook contest. First one I ever entered. Uh, back here is a little Vanilla Delight Lotion. I think that was in a set. And then these are the other little mini ones that came in that Heads to Toes kit. Some Lemony Flutter, um, Handy Guru Goo. And I got two of each ones because I ended up buying two sets. Um, also my Body Bakery little whipped lotions are all in here. And just some other random creams, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, stuff like that. Um, this is a little Happy Hippie shower gel. Okay, here's the other drawer. And this one is all of my soaps from Grumpy Girl Cosmetics. <clears throat> yeah, let's take it. Okay, so these ones are all cut up and labeled. Um, my advice is actually not to cut them up. Uh, I realized that after I did it all. So to keep them fresh longer, I'd say keep them all in the, in the big chunk until you're <clears throat> ready to use them. Rump of the Orchard. A lot of these I haven't even used yet. Um, I'm not buying soap. I haven't bought soap in months because I need to go through all of these. <clears throat> so a lot of those. Um, I do love their... This is a Honey I Wash the Kids chunk next to a Fierce. And that one I highly, highly recommend. Um, some Trader Joe's soap. This is an I Should Cocoa I just used. Which, if you've never seen it before, I didn't know this. It's like full of coconut. So it kind of exfoliates while you use it. It's not a very creamy you know, luxurious soap, because it has all the exfoliators. Uh, one of my love soaps that actually does have glitter in it. Another um, shampoo puck, the shine. Here's a another strawberry Santa, another snow showers. Um, Sultana. What is this? Oh, that's a big chunk of chocks away. Um, but those are all of those soaps. So that's, I think, all of Lush. Yeah, this is just like random soap. I always buy soap when it's on sale. I don't know why. I have a feeling, I guess, that the world is going to run out of soap, so I need to be stocked. I have no clue. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, here's two more of the giant snow fairies that are in there. And then a baby snow fairy, which is funny because I don't really even like that scent. Um, a hair doctor, empty. How many pots do I have now? Ooh, I've got five black pots. I can take those back to Lush and get a face mask. But those are all like soaps and snow fairies and random shower gels. Let me move. Happy hippie down. So that is pretty much all of my Lush in a nutshell. Very quickly ran through. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any detail, you know, questions in, in detail or you wanted to really go through these boxes, um, Leave me a message and I guess I'll see if I can fit it in 10 minutes. This was very quick, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to all of you soon. Um, just, just gives you a better idea of how much I love Lush. I'll see you guys all later. Have a great day. Bye.